Hello, it's great to see you again. And welcome back to Mr. Tom Teaches Again. I'm Mr. Tom. When we were together last time, we learned what a hundreds chart was and how to use one to add. Today, we can talk about using this tool to subtract. Let's review what a hundreds chart is and how it helps us to subtract from numbers up to 100. What does a hundreds chart look like? It's a box. And the box is divided into 100 little boxes numbered 1 through 100. Each row is a 10. We can use the hundreds chart to subtract from any number up to 100. Let's start with a basic fact like 12 minus 5 equals blank. When we subtract using a hundreds chart, we start at the first number in the subtraction sentence. This number is called the minuend. Find the minuend. The minuend in this subtraction sentence is 12. Find 12 on the hundreds chart. Now, count back by the second number in our sentence. This is called the subtrahend. On a hundreds chart, when we subtract, we go to the left and then up. Here's 12. Now we count back 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We land on 7. We now know that 12 minus 5 equals 7. There's another way we can subtract using a hundreds chart. Let's use that same subtraction sentence. 12 minus 5 equals blank. This time, we find the second number, or our subtrahend, on the hundreds chart. The subtrahend is 5. Now, we count up to the minuend 12. We count each step. The number of steps we take is the difference or our answer. Find 5 on our hundreds chart and count up to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We counted 7 steps. The difference is 7. Using a hundreds chart, we can also subtract numbers greater than 20. Let's try another number sentence. 26 minus 7 equals blank. Let's use our first method of solving. Find 26 on the hundreds chart. Now count back 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We land on 19. 26 minus 7 equals 19. So let's review what we've learned today. Besides helping with addition, hundreds charts can help us to subtract. 12 minus 5 equals blank. Find 12, count back 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The difference is 7. We can solve that subtraction sentence another way. 12 minus 5 equals blank. This time, start at 5 and count up to 12. The number of steps is our answer. Find 5, count up to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We counted up 7. 12 minus 5 equals 7. Last, we can subtract from numbers over 20. 26 minus 7 equals blank. Find 26 on the hundreds chart. Count back 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven. We end on 19. The difference is 19. Well, we sure did a lot today. Thank you for coming along to learn something new. We now know that hundreds charts can help us to subtract as well as add. Next time, we'll talk about shortcuts with addition using hundreds charts, adding tens and ones. I'm looking forward to our next time together. And remember, it never hurts to be nice.